Good day. This message is for sun signs in Aquarius. For the first week of March 2021, sun signs in Aquarius, your spiritual warfare message is that you have what's considered to be a lover. This could be someone you're currently in a relationship with or a karmic partner or someone you rejected as a lover or whoever you're dealing with right now, their ex. The point is, your lover or your lover's lover, <laughs> um, they're currently wanting to rip your heart chakra's aura. Their overall intention is to get you, Sun Sign and Aquarius, to block and banish your family members and have you secluded to yourself. That's sick. At any rate, they're trying to induce stress and trauma to you, and they want outside forces and entities to take you over. Now, symptoms of this attack on your heart chakra do include respiratory issues and an imbalance in empathy, meaning you can be too enmeshed or completely apathetic. You do need some sound therapy, add crystals to your water, tinctures, and plant essences, and you also need to call on your high vibrational ancestors and deities. You need to write a petition for guidance or call on them asking for guidance. Now, adding crystals to your water, you can add literally palm stones in a glass of water and a cup of water. You can do what I did. Go on Amazon. It's blurry because I had some tea in here. Um, and it's a, it's a crystal that goes in the water bottle. Your messages from the universe regarding your recent past is that there was hesitation, instability, delays, and unfocused energy due to lack of direction. You found yourself dreaming. Now, presently, the messages from the universe is that you're taking action, but you're also taking on too much. You need to prioritize a spiritual experience. You are being presented with an opportunity to free yourself from the fears that are blocking you, realizing that you need to separate reality and illusion. In the near future, you will be in a state of oneness, but only after you deal with your regret of being stuck in the past. You need to spend some time recovering and dedicating your energy to self-care. You will mourn the loss of divine connections due to your decisions and actions. Your karma messages are from Planet Sun. Believe that what you visualize is real now and you will surely see your heart's desire come into being. The warning from Planet Sun is that even the greater ruler has to take advice from others, has to listen to the advice of others. An unrestrained ego can do more damage to your creations and you than any enemy can. Good karma only. Act like a leader. Do this by using an unconventional way and doing it dramatically. Realize what's new and different about your creations and also the discoveries of your vision are resulting from the eccentricity of things that are being brought to light. 
your chakra wisdom card is the solar plexus, self-discipline. Your self-discipline and willpower will significantly help you in your efforts to move forward and grow. You are free of the need for the approval of others. Face each challenge with determination and courage and be determined to live your life to its full potential. You are strong and capable. Your actions will speak louder than your words. Your how to love yourself affirmation is I appreciate others for who they are. Accept that you cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must do the work themselves and they will do it when they are ready. Your healing mantra is awakening inspired action. The mantra is there is only what life is asking of me. This mantra is ideal for resolving boredom and increasing fulfillment and also overcoming self-sabotage. When you awaken, inspire action, you are an open, willing participant in your soul's journey. You are ready, willing, and able to face any feeling or make any necessary change just for the chance to serve the cosmic plan of the universe. When inspire action has been awakened, you radiate higher frequencies of light for the well-being of all. Your self-care for the soul, daily rituals for the next seven days. Your inner child wants you to start a dream journal and also listen to music. Choose music that resonates with you and holds a positive vibration. Let the music move you, inspire you, and share a motivating, uplifting song that invigorates you. Hmm. In regards to your dream journal, look for the wisdom and guidance that's in your dreams and you need to write them down because you control them. You need to use your dreams as a playground for your growth. And I'm also picking up, since you do need ancestor support for this spiritual attack where your lover's lover or your lover or someone you turn down are trying to have an entity take over you and you need ancestor support, I would definitely be writing down my dreams to get the answers that you need to protect yourself just makes sense your present self wants you to utilize aromatherapy you can use a lava bracelet with some light essential oils or use a diffuser with essential oils for sleeping lavender chamomile if you're studying or just need to keep your mind straight, peppermint and or rosemary. If you're not home a lot, so you can't use a diffuser as much as you would like to, get a lava bracelet. I definitely put it in the description box for you along with diffusers and oil kits and <laughs> an example of a petition and some sound therapies and <laughs> No, but for real, your higher self wants you to journal. So evidently you have some thoughts inside of you that your higher self and the universe needs you to put down on paper so you can move forward. And remember, as far as the messages from the universe, we all have free will. So if you do not want to incur any losses or be stuck, 
make the right decisions, good decisions for your future, okay? All right, so abundant wisdom resides in you, sun signs, and Aquarius. Use it, and I'll see you next time.